Now from ABC7, live breaking news. Cam 6, from one of the witnesses coming in, um, they identified a, a female in a, in a white shirt. That's the one we have down uh, in the center uh, court area with the gunshot wound to the chest. A woman opens fire at YouTube headquarters. And tonight, ABC7 News has learned the name of the shooter and her connection to the company. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Eric Thomas in for Dan Ashley. And I'm Ahmed Dates. Law enforcement remains on the scene tonight. Three people were wounded and hospitalized. The suspected shooter took her own life inside the YouTube campus. Authorities have identified her as Nassim Agdam. And while she didn't work at the company, she has posted hundreds of videos across multiple accounts. ABC 7 News joins us from the newsroom with more. Kate. Oh, well, Alma Eric, ABC 7 News sources confirm Nassim Agdam was a YouTube user and her current address is actually down in Riverside County. ABC 7 spoke to a neighbor today who confirmed she lived there in a home with her father and her husband and that the FBI was at the house this afternoon. Agdam is said to have had no relationship with anyone in the YouTube facility in San Bruno. Sources say she did not have an ID badge, but that she was carrying a purse. Nobody in the facility knew who she was, but say that she was able to fire 30 or 40 shots before turning the gun on herself. Agdam does have a website with a manifesto that targets YouTube for demonetizing her videos and cutting her ad revenue. I'm being discriminated and filtered on YouTube and I'm not the only one. So recently they also attacked my Persian channel, Nassim Saps. And if you go and check my videos, you see that my new videos hardly get views and my old videos that's used. Ogdom also embedded videos belonging to other YouTube stars that talk about the YouTube ad apocalypse, which has caused many users to lose traffic, subscribers and ad revenue. It appears that Ogdom was disgruntled by those changes in the YouTube platform. On February 20th, YouTube enact enacted a new advertising policy that demonetizes channels with fewer than 1,000 subscribers, though Ogdom's main English channel had more than 5,000 subscribers, many of her videos appear to have been demonetized. Late this evening, YouTube actually terminated many of her channels, posting a message that the accounts violated YouTube policies. Now, we're digging more into Ogtom's YouTube channel content, including her lengthy manifesto that actually quotes Hitler at one point. For now, though, that's the latest. In the newsroom, I'm Kate Larson. Ama Eric will send it back to you.